Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I am your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. And as always, every Sunday morning, we will be joining you and giving you our best bets for this weekend's NFL games. That's literally what we do. Um, I have nothing else to say because I, that, what I just said was basically a lie because my bets haven't been the best. They haven't, but, but we're only four weeks in. We are. There's we, time to turn it around, but if you look, you can see my record. Three and nine. Had a clean sweep last week. Uh, reverse sweep. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Not a clean sweep. I got sweep last, I got swept. Got swept. Well, I did the sweeping. Um, yes. In four weeks, that is my second 3-0 and week. I'm 10-2 and two on the year. In four weeks, that is my second 0-3 oh week. Not great. Really great. I also, you know, I gave you the Giants minus three last week, too, so I technically was 4-0, oh, but I don't count, don't that. count that. I don't count that. Um, just saying hypothetically. Um, so proceed with caution because not everybody could do this every week like myself. Um, it, it's a chore. Ten and it's two difficult. is impressive. It's it's very impressive. It is honestly impressive. It is honestly very impressive. I was I, hoping to be. I was hoping to be like seven and five. Yeah, like something. I want to be able to say something and give you shit, but yeah, there's not. No, there's nothing to say. Yeah, no, it's good. That's so great. so with that, I'm I'm gonna jump into. It. I'm gonna go first. Yeah, go if ahead. You don't mind? I think. Well, I just, do you want to give him the punishment? Since oh were, yes, yes, right. Decided? So we went through all the comments that you guys have been leaving. Thank you very much. We really appreciate everybody watching and commenting and telling us your picks for the week and whatnot. So what we're gonna do. Um, you know our show, Fade the Public, comes out every Friday morning. Been doing it since last November. You know how we sit. Nick sits on that side. Animal sits there in the middle. I sit on this side. Well, what we're going to do for whoever loses, whoever has the worst record. <clears throat> um, sorry, I had a tingle. Um, Drink up. Yeah. We're going to, the loser is going to sit on the ground for the Fade the Public podcast. No, that's not what we're doing. It's not what we're doing. Oh, we're changing it. Oh, we're, we're going to change do the, it. The, the, we're going to change shoot. it. Shoot, that was we had two options. That I'm was sorry. an idea. That Have was my fa- that was my favorite idea, but you overruled me because you're older. Why don't we let them pick? We'll give them the two That's options. That's actually a really good idea. That's what we're going to do. Even though either, you might be even further in the bottom. Either I'll sit on the ground. I'm saying I because I'm assuming I'm going to lose. Either the loser will sit on the ground for the whole episode of the Fate whole the Public, episode. They have to sit on episode, the ground. Or you guys can vote. We'll choose one of these. The loser will have to do some type of a photo shoot. In the other person's uh, team's jersey. So, so I would be doing it in a Broncos jersey. He would be doing it in a Giants jersey. Yep. And some random type of photo shoot. It could be an a, engagement photo yeah. shoot. It could be a calendar photo shoot. You name it, we'll do it. Pick the one. We'll go through all the comments. Whichever has the most, we will do that. And we will get back to you next week on what we decide. With that. Take it easy on me. With that. My first lock of the week. I'm going with the Packers, plus three and a half at Dallas. Um, Dallas's offensive line is pretty banged up right now. Their best offensive lineman and quite possibly the top three offensive lineman in football, Tyrone Smith, he's not playing this week. That's a problem. It is a big problem. They have Lyle Collins is hurt too. That whole offensive line is very banged up right now. Um, the Packers are coming off a very miserable loss against the Eagles in a game that they should have won. There was a pass interference that wasn't called. LaFleur should have ran the ball, neither here nor there. They're, they're a good football team, a much better defense than we've seen before. Aaron Rodgers coming, coming in possessed. Devontae Adams isn't there, but you know what? I think that almost helps helps Rodgers a little bit. He's going to spread like the ball out more. I Rodgers game. Like, right. just, I'm going to have to roll a, out a, throw vin, it. a vintage Rodgers game. He plays Dallas so well in that stadium. And when you think about it, what Vegas does – they give three points to the home team. So if this was a, if this game was played on a mutual field and say the Super Bowl, wherever it was, Dallas will never be there, so it doesn't matter. It's a pick em, essentially. Yeah, exactly. It's a pick em. They, Dallas is favored by, by half a point. It's a pick em. So I'm going to read the odds makers' eyes, and I'm going to read that, that banged up Dallas offensive line, and I'm going to go by what I saw last week when Dak didn't look good. They couldn't establish the run game. And I'm going to take the Packers plus three and a half as my first lock of the week. Uh, Boom. Listen, Click it in. I think it's a great pick, as you know, because I told you I was thinking about taking that. So You did, and that's why I really didn't want to, yeah. but I, I've, I've been eyeing this for, for a week. I now, wanted so. to throw it in there just in case maybe that will... Yeah, you no, know, it's going to lose now. Throw a little back. There's no way that wins. A little voodoo on that. Yeah. So my first pick 
is going to be the Atlanta Falcons at the Houston Texans. And I'm taking the over. And the over is 49. And why am I taking the over? It's, why? They're, they're, both these defenses have been awful. Terrible. Awful at, at any type of, of pass coverage. They cannot stop a wide receiver running down the field, trying to catch the ball. They can't do it. Can't stop him. Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, Austin Hooper, going to run wild. DeAndre Hopkins, Will Fuller. Kiki. Yeah, Kenny someone Stills. else. Kenny Stills kind of hurt. Yeah, he's anyway, kinda, he might not play. They're going to run wild. There's going to be so many points scored in this game. I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> because this, this could either be one of those games where it's like 13-10 or 41 <laughs> Well, you, you're now. betting the over, so it's probably going to be like 6-3. Yeah, exactly. But listen, it should be a shootout. Should be high scoring. Take the over. Run with the over. Lock it up. You know what? I, uh, I'll give you some good juju. I like the pick. I, mean, I do. You've said you liked a lot of my picks in the past. I have, because I, I think your analysis are good. You've had a lot of very bad beats, but they're beats. So what are you going to do? Speaking of Juju, my next, my next lock of the week, Pittsburgh plus three and a half at home against the Baltimore Ravens. This is a divisional rival. In my opinion, in my opinion, probably over the last five to seven years, this has been the, maybe the best rivalry in football. Baltimore, Pittsburgh. They've had classics. Usually some some brutal, violent games. Right, exactly. Yeah. And you're all probably wondering why is Snacks taking Pittsburgh plus three and a half. Baltimore has come off two losses where they didn't look good last week. They played the Chiefs well. But the home team in a divisional game like this, especially like this, getting three and a half points. So if they lose by a field goal, that is a number I'm taking. I'm not betting the teams right now. I'm betting the number. Yep. Three and a half at home. They're coming off a nice win against a shit Bengals team, but that's what they needed. They they have a good roster. They needed some momentum coming in. Mason Rudolph had to find his groove. Jalen Samuels, they, they game plan. They did the wild the wildcat, and that Baltimore defense is not good. Listen, I think the that whole, is not the Baltimore defense. The whole we know. Baltimore team is not as good as we were led right? to believe from the first two weeks of them destroying those mediocre teams. So right, I like yep. that pick. I could see. I could see that being a very close game right down, I, I right see, down to the end. To I could see goal. a field goal game. Yeah. And that's that's why I'm betting the number at three and a half. Pittsburgh at home against a divisional rival. Baltimore Ravens. Huge game. Lamar Jackson sucks. Mason Rudolph on my dynasty team. Plus three and a half. Pittsburgh Steelers. Lock it in. All right. You heard it here first. Lock it in. Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, I'm like, I don't even have any any juice in me right now. I'm just trying to power through these crank picks. it up crank it up i just crank it up it's i'm getting crank it up i'm getting beat down just psh, 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 well that's psh. what happens when you're three and nine yeah but we're gonna turn around this week going three no second pick coming at you live browns at the san francisco 49ers i believe this is the monday night game it is this is the monday night game and i'm taking the browns and i'm taking the points plus three and a half because the browns showed us last week that the defense is pretty good they stopped they stopped Lamar Jackson. They did. No, they play very well. They stopped Lamar Jackson. I, I, I actually, be, I bet them plus seven. Who's supposed to be that, you know, that, that, that quarterback that's, uh, that's good, but he's not. He's not. And we've always known that. And now we definitely know that. And listen, the, the Browns offense is starting to click. It, we, we saw it last week with Nick Chubb finally, finally getting the ball like he should be. He's getting the, he's pounding the rock. And that's what I want to see. The Browns probably win this game. They probably win this game. I'm not going to bet the money line. I'm going to take the points, but I think they end up winning this game. Steelers, I mean, not the Steelers, the 49ers are going to be a little sluggish coming off the bye week. A little sluggish coming off the bye they week. They haven't played anybody yet. This is their no, first real competition. they're another team that hasn't really... Who have they really played that is they an played, upper they, echelon team? They played a Big Ben-less Steeler team. Exactly, a team that they had to... You know, please, Browns, lock it up. You know what? I hate to say it. I really do, because now when it when it loses, because probably inevitably will, this is probably my favorite bet you've made in four weeks. The Browns? Yeah. It's a good bet. Yeah. I like taking the team, you know, they're coming off the bye, they're gonna be sluggish. I agree. The Browns I agree. are rolling, they're they're getting the momentum now. Speaking of sluggish, I think we have our uh our listener big lock of the week. Our big dog big lock of the week. That's right. Brought to you by a Mr. George. Georgie, take it away. Let's hear what you got, George. Hey, Snacks. Hi, Snacks. And Max. My pick of the week, Giants, four and a half over the Vikings. 
Danny Dimes 2-0 against the spread this year. We got Barkley 2.0, a.k.a. Wayne the Pain Gallman in the backfield. And then we got my man, Golden Tate, coming back, uh, fresh off the f***ing juice, ready to play, send trades. And I forgot to mention also Janoris Jenkins, Defensive Player of the Week last week, even though they played a Pop Warner, fucking Redskins offense. That's neither here nor there. G-Men, four and a half over the Vikings. Lock it. Is that is that still a thing? Do kids still do that? No? Whatever. They're not going to watch us anyways. All right. It's your team. That's a great pick. Yeah. I mean, for you, pick. I don't think it's going to hit. You think the Vikings come in at East Rutherford and steamroll them, don't you? Yeah. That's what I think, too. I just, I just, I'm not, I'm not sold on Daniel Jones yet. I mean, he's played two games. Exactly. So I'm not going to bet with, I'm not going to bet on the Giants right now. I don't think it's just fully Daniel Jones, though. I think the whole team is just rejuvenized. Yeah, no, for sure. And but the, the, the Vikings seem to be in a little bit of disarray. Vikings are heading in the wrong direction, 100%. Big dogs, by the way, are well, five and one. Five and one. Wow. Yannick clean swept you. Yeah, last week. That was really smart. He goes, Big I dogs went 3 0 before I did. I take everything the opposite of Max. Yep. Congrats, Big Dogs. George, best of luck to you. Georgie, let's go. Keep the train rolling, George. And I really hope that uh, that pick hits, let alone wins outright. You hear that sound? The sound is back. It's back this week. It's the big lock. It's time. Let's get this. Oh, Oh, it's wow. stronger yeah, I got. I know I'm getting weaker as the as the weeks as go the picks by. keep losing. Yeah. <sighs> wow. It's well constructed. It is well I constructed. And you know what else is well constructed? My thought process on this big lock. By the way, four and zero on big locks. Haven't lost a big lock yet, and I don't think I'm going to do so now. The fact that the New England Patriots are only favored by 15 and a half points mm. is a travesty. They are angry that they only beat the Buffalo Bills by six. Tom Brady did not play well. The Washington Redskins don't even know who their quarterback is. Dwayne Haskins, Colt McCoy, Case Keenan was in a walking boot this week. He ain't playing. Those quarterbacks are terrible. The Redskins have quit. Their offensive line is atrocious. Their defense can't stop a nosebleed. The New England Patriots are going into Washington. They are going to dominate. They are going to decimate them. They are going to win this game by 35 Plus, I don't see how they don't. How is this line only 15 and a half? How? Listen, I I agree with you. I think Tom Brady had a a rough game against Buffalo. He's going to go out there and be like, listen, I'm still Tom Brady. I'm still here. He wants to win MVP at 49 years old. Why not? And he's going to have to do it by gaining a big, massive game against Washington. He's going to throw for four touchdowns, whatever the case is. I I would never, ever in my life. You guys know me. You've been watching Bagels and Locks for four weeks. I bet dogs. I bet small underdogs. I would never lay points like this, but it's just too simple. It's too juicy. It's too simple. They're going to kill this team. Big lock of the week. New England Patriots, Super Bowl champions, Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, minus 15 and a half at Washington. They're bad. No quarterback, no defense, no offensive line on the road. They suck. New England by 30. Lock it in. Boom. 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 All right, Patriots, lock it in. I like it. Listen, I think it's going to hit. I think they're going to get smoked. Absolutely, absolutely annihilated. So my big lock is Hold your a breath. special big lock because we're welcoming back mm. a certain someone to the field. A friend, a friend of the of show. The show friend of the the company bdge and listen this pick is uh it's the titans minus three against the bills and i got a little something here for my man taylor luan he's coming back derrick henry is gonna be seeing a lot of pancake blocks look at this pancakes (laughs) all up in here titan Minus three, big lock. Let's go. Let's go. It's over. Oh my god. <laughs> Smells good. <laughs> um, guys, pancake blocks. <laughs> Derek Henry in the end zone. 
I want to thank you all for listening and watching as we continue to do this. We appreciate your love and support, um, especially Animal, because you guys haven't threatened to kill him or his family yet for losing you all this money. But that's bagels and a lot. That is a big way to end the show, Animal. Let's go. Get yourself back on Let's a track. Go. 3 what? and 0. 3 and 0. 3 and 0. I got so much syrup from my <laughs> now. Yeah, you think? Like, subscribe. Drop some comments down below. Thanks for watching. As always, bagels and lots. I missed my mouth. Bagels and locks?